Hey, I'm Don with Santa Cruz Bikes and Marketing. Uh, we're here at the Santa Cruz factory in Santa Cruz, California. We're going to take you through a little tour and show you how we make bikes here. So come on through the front door. This is our showroom. Uh, normally it's full of bikes, but because it's Sea Otter weekend, uh, we've got all those bikes packed up and they're, they're headed down to Laguna Seca, which is about an hour and a half down the coast. Uh, we do have our factory demo here. We send out about 3,000 people on bike rides every year. Uh, send them up the coast to Wild Ranch State Park. We charge 20 bucks for that, but then we donate that money back to the trail. So it works out pretty good. We'll go on back and take a look at the factory now. So if you're ever in town, you can come by, check out some t-shirts, some jerseys, come take a tour of the factory in person, or go for a bike ride. So this is our assembly floor. Everybody's just getting back from lunch, but we'll give you a little tour and show you how uh, a bike goes from being an order to being uh, a complete bike that shows up at your local shop. So we'll start with the frame building area. What we do here is uh, generally all our, our dual suspension bikes come as uh, a swing arm and a, and a main triangle. And what the guys on this line do is uh, assemble the rear of the bike to the front of the bike. So. Uh, all these guys here are, well, we've got a couple hardtails going in right now. Uh, they put all the smaller bits on the, on the frame. Um, see here we're finishing uh, assembling the shock to the frame. Um, and what we do is we take linkages that come from over in this area and uh, we press in all the bearings here and those linkages go over to these guys uh, and they assemble the bikes front to back. Forrest is our, our tallest bike assembler, as far as I know. Um, so after the frame's assembled, uh, it all starts with an order that comes in through our production office, and that generates a pick list that shows every single part that's on the bike. So we've got a high tower C275 plus bike right here. Uh, the frame's in there, but you see that there's no parts. We custom built these carts, and if you take a look at the top here, you'll see that there's uh, kind of a bin or an area for everything. So fork goes here, uh, shifters and brakes, seat post, and where we get those things is what we call the, the supermarket. So an assembler will take that cart, we'll catch up to him here, uh, but as he goes down this aisle, he'll pick the handlebars from over here according to what's on that pick list or a bottom bracket. Uh, we've got some brakes over here. And as the cart makes its way down this aisle, it gets more and more full of the things that are going to go on that bike. So when we get down to the corner here, this is where they install the headset. If we need to press one in, we've got a press right here. But as you can see from these bikes on, on the cart here, we filled in all those spaces. We've got the rear derailleur, the shifters, the brakes, the grips, uh, almost everything you need for a complete bike. Uh, what we pick up on the next aisle is the, the forks and the, uh, the wheels. So make the turn here. You can see that uh, the fork has been picked for this bike. Got a RockShox Pike on this one. Uh, this bike has not been picked yet. So they're, they're all staged in these boxes. And we come over here to where the steer, steer tubes are cut and the crown race is pressed in. And then the bike is sent, sent on down the line for uh, wheel assembly and then file, final assembly. So we'll. So here in wheel assembly, uh, we got rotors, cassettes, uh, tires, sealant, all gets put into the wheels and, uh, and then back onto the carts. And that kind of preps the bike for almost final assembly, which happens here is all the cockpit parts, the handlebar assemblies are, are added on. So the, uh, uh, the shifters and the brake levers get added here. And again, back onto the cart. And then we go on the down the line here, bottom bracket and cranks are installed. And as we continue to go down, the, the bike gets fully assembled. So we get down here to packaging. And these guys are putting the bike into the package the way that your dealer will receive it. And then they ship them on out the door. And uh, this is how they a bike goes from being an order to being uh, on, your, on your shop floor. So now we're going to head into the uh, wheel building area. We build all of our wheels for our bikes here as well. 
Uh, the reason that we assemble them here is, uh, you know, all of our bikes are built to order, so it, it's really good for us. We've got 27 five wheels, 29 wheels, we've got different widths, plus, whatever. Um, it gives us a lot of flexibility in manufacturing, so we can build up the exact rim with the exact uh, hub based on the orders we have coming in, rather than having a bunch of pre-built wheels and boxes. So it also lets us employ a lot more people, so that's pretty cool too. Here's where they load the spokes um, into the, the hubs. You can see right here we've got, uh, looks like a Novatech hub, uh, fully loaded and ready to be built into a wheel. Eventually these bins come on into the other room get matched up with uh, a wheel that we have on order. And uh, we use these two lacing machines. And these guys are at it, uh, getting the wheels all laced up in a, I believe a three cross pattern is what we got going on there. And once they do that, uh, as you see Victor doing here, he spins it for, to make sure it's in round. And then what he'll do is put it onto the platform and it rolls into one of our truing machines. Uh, and these are pretty cool. So if you come around here, I'll, I'll show you this. So this is one of our wheel building machines. It's got these two robotic um, spoke wrenches that uh, th there's a pre-programmed pa pattern that it goes through and it tensions the wheel uh, so that it comes out perfectly true. It also uh, pre-tensions the spokes. And then the last thing it does is actually a trueness test and it will go back and forth. It's got some laser guiding that, that determines whether or not uh, the rim is actually in true, the whole wheel is in true. And the last thing that it does is, is measure that. If it's in true, it goes into this green slot. If it's out of true, it goes into the red slot. And it's either redone or, or finished by hand, which is actually what we do with all of our wheels. Go around here to JT. JT is hand finishing one of our wheels here, and this is something that we, we commonly do. So um, he's building one of our aluminum wheels. We do carbon wheels as well, uh, but those don't have any external nipples, so we build those completely from uh, by hand all the way up. So once these are done, they get staged back out there where we saw bike assembly, and then they're available to be built into complete bikes. So this is our, our test lab and our carbon lab. Um, we don't have any tests running right now, but we've got an old uh, Santa Cruz highball here on the test rig. And uh, what this thing does is it cycles a load through the frame, uh, trying to get it to, uh, to break. Um, so the guys that work in here have a pretty cool job in, in that they, they get to try and break stuff all day, which is pretty Let's take cool. a look at some of the, uh, some of the carbon uh, prototyping stuff we have here. Uh, this is a carbon press. Uh, it heats up. We put molds in it. I don't think there's any molds in it currently, no. Uh, but you can mold small parts in there. Uh, we've done some handlebars in there. Uh, we'll take a look at the molds down. There's some handlebar molds that we're, we're working on. Um, and those would go into that press, um, which would be loaded with, uh, inside this refrigerator, we've got um, pre-preg carbon fiber, which needs to be stored cold. It gets um, laid up into those molds and then pressed into uh, a carbon part. Uh, we do have the capability to do prototype frames now, so that's pretty rad that we can go uh, direct to, to carbon prototypes. Um, and then we have, uh, we'll take a look in the engineering shop a little bit later, or in our, um, our machine shop, but these uh, these molds here are all cut in-house, so we've got the capability to do that as well. So it's a mess in here right now, uh, but this is our carbon cutting lab. So you basically put in a CNC pattern that gets um, cut out on this machine, and that's what gets laid up into the molds. And we'll take a quick peek in here, but you can't... Wait, let me look first. Nothing to see here. Yeah. So this is our, our race shop, our, our marketing tech and engineering tech shop. Got Kelly Emmett right over there. Team Juliana SRAM assembling bikes for the team right now. That's how good she is. So uh, we build all of our, uh, our team bikes in here and send them out uh, to our racers.
So we're in our machine shop now. We've got uh, two super talented uh, machinists down here, uh, Mike and John, and they build all of our prototypes. So uh, we'll go take a look up on the wall. You can see there's a bunch of frames. Those are some of the last few bikes that we've come out with. Um, it always starts here. Our, our engineering team upstairs uh, does a drawing and the, these guys can take it in a week and, and turn it into a rideable prototype. So what we do for say, a model that's coming out is we develop five or six different aluminum versions. Generally, they've got an angle set and a couple different options on the links to kind of change angles and linkages. And uh, we'll have test riders go back to back with those. And then we, we get down to a couple of, of samples that uh, they deem as, as the last couple that we want to go down to. And then we finally come out to our our final uh, design. As you can see, it's a mixture of kind of high-tech CNC with more old-school machine shop work. And, uh, and Mike and John, who I think are on lunch right now, um, kind of span that, um, you know, that, that gap between technology and, and art form. What these guys can do with these machines is pretty remarkable. So we'll take a closer look. Some of the old presses that we have here. Uh, frame building table and then you can see up here are some of the old mules of several of the old uh, models that we've we put out into the field probably one of the original v10s right up there the one with the white link is kind of identifiable <laughs> Do you see the beer holder on that? It's uh, one of the main features. That's a BLT bike. It looks like a bacon, lettuce, tomato. So here's a really important part of the building, which is employee park, bike parking. We've got, got 150 people that work here, about 80, 80 of them are in production. Almost everybody rides a bike, so um, either on the trails or to and from work, we've got a commute program. Yeah, Allie must be out riding her bike right now. Uh, and you can see where the bikes hang. We actually made those, those hangers in the machine shop uh, when those guys had a little bit of time on their hands. Uh, we built all that so that we could store these bikes here. Um, so yeah, we've got a commuting incentive program for employees that can earn money towards lunch and bike parts uh, by riding to work, so that's pretty cool. We should go in here, this is a, the company shower. So since we're always riding bikes, and there's a lot of poison oak here. You're going to want to take a shower after you're done riding. Got tech new in every, in every shower. It's very important. Got towels. Got Rory with his shirt off. We've even got a place to, uh, to wash your clothes, which is important. This is my favorite room right here. This is the, uh, the employee lunchroom. <laughs> We've got Ben. Ben's wanted, so uh, he, he may not want to be on camera. Uh, got kind of a full kitchen here so people could come in and make their lunch. Uh, refrigerators, whatnot, soda machines. Got some people getting ready to go out on demo rides right now, getting all suited up. Then what we have here is a, there's a secret button, which may or may not be right here. And it opens it up to Joe Graney's office, Dr. Evil. No, actually he's upstairs. This is sales. These guys make all the money. Marketing spends all the money. Look, Ben, you're like a supermodel. Yeah, so when you come in, they put your name on the bike. Uh, Usually on, on our online registration, we ask for 
what weight the people are, and then we set up the bikes to the basic settings before they get here and then finish out the sag and rebound and all that uh, before people go out on a ride. So that's kind of the tour. Uh, thanks for coming by. We'll see you down at Sea Otter.